It was a dark and stormy night, and Tigger, Rabbit, Eeyore, Kessie, Piglet and Pooh were gathered at Pooh Bear's house for a slumber and honey party. They were all just getting ready for bed. Good night, Pooh. Good night, night Robert. Good night, everyone and everything. Oh, wait. Can't we have a bedtime story? You should always have a bedtime story at a slumber party. You know you're right, Tessie. What kind of story would you like? Ooh, a fairy tale? An adventure. I know a real sad story about a donkey. Nothing happens. No! I think tonight is a perfect night for a... Spooky story. Spooky? Yeah! What's the scariest thing that ever, ever happened in the Hundred Acre Wood? That's what I want to hear. Well, there's always the story of how Rabbit looks when he gets up in the morning. <laughs> now, that's pretty scary. Very funny, Tigger. If you ask me, the scariest thing that ever happened was the night the green thing fell from the sky. Nothing. Oh, I want to hear that. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Can I tell the story? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? You will, you will Tigger. And so Tigger settled himself in to tell the story of the spookiest thing that had ever happened in the Hundred Acre Wood, better known as... The Night of the Brussels Sprout. Hey, 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 what's the big idea? I'm the narratizer of this here story. Oh, of course, Tigger, I'm sorry. Take it away. Okay. Well, the moon was shining down like a big silvery moon, and the sky was, of course, full of stories. It was an especially still night. You might even call it eerie, as you were trying to be irritable. Anyway, the peep was peeping. Everyone was fast asleep in their beds. And then suddenly, what should come hurtling down from that starry sky? But something from the outerest reaches of outside the book! We might never have even known if it wasn't for our good friend Rabbit, who is an especially light slumberer. Well, it did land right in my garden. <laughs> okay, who's spinning this yarn, me or you? Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. So anyways, old Floppy Ears got up to investigate. But first, he went to get his buddies. You know, just in case. They all came over to Rabbit's house to check out the crazy thingy that had mysteriously landed in Rabbit's mysterious garden. Gasp! <gasps> Why, it's something green. But what? It's something from out there. Owl's house? No. Out there. Piglets? No, no, no. It comes from out there, out there. Oh, you mean that, um, out there. Yes, but what is it? Yes, what is it? <laughs> what is that? What is it? What? What? What is it? What is it? What is it? What? What? What is it? What is it? What is it? What? What? What is it? What is it? What is it? I know. It's a green thing from outer space. It's got no eyes, no ears, no face. Is it friendly? It might be mean. And all we know for sure is that it's green. But maybe it's just a bear from Mars with gifts of Martian honey jars. Uh, perhaps it would like to stay for tea. I've had my tail. It won't like me. What is it? What is it? What? What? What is it? What is it? What is it? I know. It's a green thing from outer space. It's got no eyes, no ears, no face. Does it have a brain and an evil scheme? Well, all we know for sure is that it's green. Perhaps it's a flying cleaning machine to give the whole forest a sparkly sheen. Or maybe it's waiting and ready to pounce to catch me and steal the way I bounce. What is it? What is it? What? What? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I know. Oh boy. It's a green thing from outer space. It's got no eyes, no ears, no face. Does it have a name? Like Josephine. Or Fred. Well, all we know for sure is that it's green. That's true. All we know for sure is that it's green. Green. Hmm. I wonder. So, so do I, Rabbit. So, so do I. Well, uh, perhaps it's being quiet because we haven't been properly introduced. I mean, I get very shy when I meet someone 
for the first time. Oh, well, that's true. Uh, we don't even know what it is, let alone what its name is. Well, maybe it hasn't got a name. You know, what was it being from out there and all? No. Everything has a name, and we must try to find out what it is. Good luck. It's probably here to eat our brains and take over the world. Nevertheless, I nominate Piglet. Hey! For the job of finding out the creature's name on account of because he's, um, officially elected. Uh, hello? Uh, my Hi. name's Piglet. What's your name? Perhaps a joke would break the ice. Knock, knock. Uh, knock, knock. I don't think it likes jokes. Perhaps it's not feeling well. It does look a little green. Perhaps if we all got something to make it feel better. Well, that's, that's a good idea. idea. Good point, more or less. Here, here, eat, eat. It's good for you. Is probably just toying with us. Wait until our backs are turned to begin this fiendish plan of world domination. Well, there ain't room enough in these here woods for the both of us, see? And I challenge you, Tigger O'Green Singy, to a bounce off. <laughs> I got him there, cause bouncing's what Tiggers do the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told you. No, we've had it. It's gonna start rampaging any second. Oh, that's just silly, Tigger. It isn't even moving. <laughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry! Secure your valley of <laughs> The green coats is coming! The green coats is coming! Oh dear! Oh my! I'd better hide my honey. Hmm. Oh dear! Oh dear! Steor, what are you doing? Why aren't you running? Frozen by fear. Don't think it's moving anymore, though. Really? Uh, Rabbit, I, I was thinking, doesn't the green thing look a little like one of the plants in your garden? Hmm. As a matter of fact, it does, Piglet. Wait a minute. I'll get my vegetable book. Vegetable from outer space? Sounds conspicuous to me. Let's see. Apples, apricots, uh, asparagus, bananas. Oh, here it is! Here it is! A Brussels sprout! A giant Brussels sprout from out there! Well, it, it doesn't matter where it grew up. Now that we know what it is, we don't have to be afraid of it anymore. <laughs> you know, I'll bet it was probably just very tired from its long trip and wanted a nice place to rest. <laughs> Yes, a nice place to rest. Very big sprout. Very big sprout. There, a new home for our new friend. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! So well. If only we could all, no matter where we came from, who we were, what our names were, or if we liked pastrami, or cake, or honey, or carrots, or acorns. Etc. 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 Okay, we get the point. Anyways, that was the ookiest, spookiest day in the whole hundred acre woods. Wow, that was incredible! A giant Brussels sprout from outer space? Oh, well, not exactly, Cassie. It seems the giant Brussels sprout accidentally dropped into the book while Christopher Robin was reading at dinner. <laughs> uh, believe what you want, little boy. Still, you just never know when they might strike again. Oh, 
So? Watch the skies! Watch the skies! And that is the story of the spookiest day ever in the Hundred Acre Wood. As told by Tigger, of course. Hey, that's my line! Oh, I'm sorry, Tigger. I, I thought you were finished. I thought it was too, so I guess that's all right. It sounded pretty good. <laughs> Take care, fan, anyways. Don't forget to eat your vegetables, and remember, watch the skies! Watch the skies! <laughs> <laughs>